You made a nice little splash in the community for your your little confession thing. Yeah, so. man. You know, I made you cry a little bit. Wow. Yeah. See, wow. I'm trying to talk about you. Why you throw me back? It was authentic, it. though, man. You know, it was, and I think yeah. it inspired a lot of people to kind of self reflect in that moment. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, we got to sure. be honest about who we are, how we treat people, and how we can move forward to do better and be better. If that's who yeah. you are, a lot of people was hitting my phone too. A lot of men, man, was hitting my phone and really like, yo. That resonated, you know what I'm saying? Only operating at 60% or 50% in your marriage and your relationships. And, you know, you think you're giving your all. Or you may know you ain't doing doing it the right way. But to accept that and be like, man, you know, I got to tighten up, man. Especially when you got a legacy you're trying to protect and really do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's some of the stuff we we're talking about. when you got a queen you need to protect. Yeah, I should, I, I, see, I should throw it in there man. Cause, I'm, cause sometimes you gotta be very specific Everybody wants to be very broad The legacy No we got specific Specifically yeah. I got me a dime That I gotta make sure don't run off Okay. She coming in hot, bro. I'm speaking on purpose and who I am. She coming in hot. Down to nobody. That's why God requires the fellowship. I see I ain't alone. <laughs> hey, you, you already know. You feel me? Yes, sir. I mean, you know, transparent souls, bro. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, no doubt, I mean, bro. What you did, you know, honestly, it uh, <clears throat> there's so many of us, so many men that don't have that level of transparency in their life or, you know, are willing to be vulnerable, right? But when when we are that, we give everybody an opportunity to be like, dang, it helped open them up. And they realize like, man, I, you know, I'm holding all this in when I don't have to. Right, right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. um, I, I was reading this book, Battle Cry by Jason Wilson. And uh, he talked about when you cry, he said, 98% of your tears are water, mm -hmm. but the other 2% are stress hormones. Mm -hmm. So generally yeah. when you cry, when you release that, you feel better a lot of times after you cry because you're releasing a lot of that stress. That is why well, us females mm -hmm. do it all the time. Well, us for men, <laughs> we, we bottle all that in. So right. we keep all that in. And that's why for a lot of us, you know, when you look traditionally, we don't live long. Because we harbor and hold so much. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right, it's right. For, I, I got to release something. Yeah, release yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Why do you think we do that, though, man? Because we've been taught to do that. I mean, we train, man. We train well. A lot of times we train, and we don't even realize we're being trained. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 it's right, just right. kind of how it go. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's a badge of honor to, uh, you know, be a young man and be promiscuous. Mm -hmm. You see what right, I'm saying? Right, like, right, that's right. what you... <laughs> What, yeah. what you mean? You you fourteen? Right. You, you, ain't, you ain't got, got nothing yet. yet. Like, yeah. and you be embarrassed mm -hmm. about that. That's so true. a lot of you you forced into it. Right. Yeah. Or you might even lie. You might be lying for two years you straight. Talking about you don't got something. You know what I, I mean? Was so that's nineteen. That, yeah. Lying. Mm. <laughs> 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 he said, you got something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know it's all good. I'm scared. My mama would go find out. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Right. Like, <laughs> Right. Like she could, she could sense it on me. Right, you know? right, right. But yeah. <laughs> and do you also believe that it's also once you know that now it's a pride thing that a lot of men endure? Yeah, I mean, because you got it's it's weak to cry essentially in our community. It's weak to show emotion. It's weak instead of like you said embracing it because it can do so much healing on a whole another level whole, that whole so whole many level. people don't understand. I yeah, I mean, pride is a sin, right? You know what I'm saying? Like J. Cole said, pride is the devil. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it really is. Um, what are, what are we prideful for in that regard? There ain't nothing to be proud of. Right. To, yeah. You know, to say the least. I mean, right. when when you look at that whole scenario, when you really get down to the nitty gritty with it, I mean, I, I'm welcoming nothing but heartache and pain and turmoil. Mm. And I'm mixing spirits with, you know, uh, 
with with myself and 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 you know the whole deal is when you when you sleep with somebody, shoot, you bringing everything and everybody that they didn't mm-hmm. you right, know right. been with. So mm-hmm. now I I'm mixing a cocktail of you know Chaos, hell right, and right, right. don't even realize it. Mm-hmm. Right, you see right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm doing that at an early age. Right. right. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like all of this stuff, man, is Look, it's all designed to kill you, boy. Yeah. At the end of the day, especially mm-hmm. when you're not following the, the 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 rules and the will of God, right? right? We start welcoming crazy, crazy, chaotic nonsense into our life right. early, man. Right. Years, and years, years and years and years. Of, of I wonder why I can't shake this, mm-hmm. man. I'm shaking everybody else's spirits too. Mm. Mm. Say it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you right. feel me? I ain't dealing with just mine. I'm dealing right. with everybody else I done brought in to my house. Yeah, not yeah. not only right. that, but also the the generational stuff that you embodied just from being in your mother's womb, whatever she went through. Sure. You carrying all those those things too, because a lot of us are carrying the weight of our families. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, this is I mean, like, hey, listen, in Ephesians 6, 11, it talks about it. Look, man, we're not fighting against flesh and bone, but we're fighting against spirits and principalities from high and wicked places. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, this is all spiritual, man. It's mm-hmm. real spiritual warfare. Like, mm-hmm. even when we at odds with our wife, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you, you know, you're at odds with your husband. It ain't him. It's mm-hmm. the spirit dwelling in him yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, that you really, you know, going at. Right. And so mm-hmm. we have to be careful to check that. Right. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. And when my mom said, I don't love the man. I love the God in the man. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I love That's what somebody. Mom do say that? Huh? You said mom yeah, do say that? mom, man. Yeah. Come like, on. You can't love the man himself because he gonna disappoint you every time. You gotta love the God in him. So right, right. if I can't find no God in you, I gotta do something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Right, like that's right, just right. real. That's absolutely yeah. Yeah. how do you explain that to to the upcoming? I think that's such a like even when I'm now as I continue to grow, just having those transparent conversations because you can see things so differently when you truly walk in in your purpose and in your spirit. You see things so differently. So when you see the chaos that's happening, it's like, I know where it's coming from, but you don't because right, you're not sure. there yet. So mm-hmm. how how can I embrace you to understand, yo, it's really not them. It's really something deeper that's making them be. Are you saying yeah. for, it, when you're talking to your kid? Anybody. But, anybody. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate for most. Most got to run into that brick wall. Right. You know, mm-hmm. all you can do is drop the seed. Right. We are all farmers. We are mm-hmm. all farmers. Either we planting seeds of prosperity, growth, love, mm-hmm. right, or right. we planting seeds of deceit, hate, turmoil, deception, you know, destruction. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All I can do and all we are required to do is be light but drop seed. Right. And when we drop the seed, we water it by sharing, right? right. Mm-hmm. So then it's up to them as the soil that you're dropping it in to then take it take hold of it and allow it to grow in them. Right. Some will, some won't. Right. You know what I'm saying? But some may not immediately do it, right. but over time, mm-hmm. they'll allow that seed to manifest itself and grow. Right. Right. So that's what you hope for, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. That's what you hope for. And that's all you can do. Because mm-hmm. anything outside of that, you know, you try to force it, they're going to run further away from yeah, what yeah, you try to sure. share with them. Right, right, right. So right. then you, the prayer is God, you know, move in their life. Yeah. But let me continue to be a good example that they see right. a level of consistency in who yeah. I am and in my life. And that's the hard part. Because yeah, yeah. right. we're human, right? So we're going to have them ups and those downs. Yeah. But you pray that they see more of the ups than they mm. do the downs, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Like I say, man, we, we a lot of times it just come down to that experience. You can want something for somebody and you can see something in somebody, but they're going to have to go through their own trials and their own experiences to kind of reflect back on like, you know what? That's why this was happening. And now I see what what T was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And it's a, it's going to be right at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the that's the growth part. Like, you drop the seed, you hope that they, you know, it take hold. Right. Um, but for them, they can't be afraid to fail mm-hmm. either. Right. You know what I'm saying? Most folks won't even try because they're scared of failing. They don't want to be made you know, to look a fool. Well, right. it's in the failing and the disappointment where the growth come in. Mm-hmm. See like, what I'm saying? It's like yeah, our yeah, whole yeah. Uh, quote, we say, get comfortable being uncomfortable. It's in the uncomfortable yeah. seasons of life where you actually truly grow and develop yeah. and, and change, essentially. You sure. know, if everybody stays comfortable, you never going to see what, what God's purpose really is for mm-hmm. your life. You're never going to try anything new. You're never going to elevate to new places because you're so 
stuck in the comfortability of what you know. And I think that's really big amongst everybody. I mean, we just talk about from a marriage standpoint, you know, in your relationships, so many people are stuck. This is what I know. This is what I want. I don't want to be pushed any further because this is it. Like, this is it. And I'm not going to try to go beyond. Yeah. And this I'm is one what of them. I'm one of them. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like it's <laughs> listen. <laughs> this right here, this this is this is a tough one. Everything, a lot of stuff came easy, man. Especially by being an athlete, and you know, sure, yeah. you athlete yourself, man. Everything yeah. came so easy, so handed to you. So to have somebody say no or try this and do it, it's a lot, man. And it may take years to, to get yeah. adjusted. Yeah, it's it's for some it's in their own time. The the one thing about it, you have more that that will actually quit in that uncomfortable season. Mm -hmm. And that's, that, that's where the, there's no, they're not able to grow because they quit on the process. Right. So, you know, those people that are like that, you, all you can do is pray for them because they'll stay in that season where things ain't going to really necessarily go their way or they'll make excuses or they'll cry about why they don't have, well, man, you quit when, Really, your breakthrough right. was right around the corner. Right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. me and you had the conversation the other night. Uh, a lot of people think that for, for Michael Jordan, that his defining moment where he really turned and turned that corner was the fact that him and his, uh, you know, that he got cut. Mm -hmm. Well, that had a lot to do with it. Right. But where the real, you know, um, evolution of Mike, in my opinion, let me say in my opinion, was when he was fighting and striving to get the approval of his father. Mm. Do you understand what okay. I'm saying? Okay. His right. older brother, Larry, was the man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, you know, he was the apple of his daddy's eye. His older brother, he didn't do nothing wrong. Mike, more so, you know, he he had to fight for that love and that right. affection of his father, but that's what drove him. I want to please him. I want I want him to see me in the same light he see my brother. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? That's deep. That's deep. Yeah, yeah. so... That made him go even harder. So, of course, when he got cut, you know, that only added on to that. I want the approval of my dad. So in that uncomfortable season, that made him strive harder. Mm -hmm. right, right, you know, right. that was a real motivating factor. I want my dad to look at me in a certain light. I want him to, you know, recognize that, hey, man, I'm somebody too. Right. right. You feel right, me? Right, right. You know, it's funny when you say that you were talking about when people quit. It's funny when people quit and you see them moving forward or not moving forward, still stagnant, going through the same thing over and over and over because they don't ever realize that this season doesn't change the individuals around it or whatever, you know, people or things are around it. That will never that will change. But right. the situation that you're enduring will never change because you're the one that's got to make the difference Starts you know we side. talked we talked about you know is the grass greener on the other side yeah it could possibly be but you still got to water it so if you ain't watering it here mm -hmm. and you go to the greener grass over there it's eventually going to die too because you're not watering it there either right. so that's why we say like yeah you got to be uncomfortable you got to mm -hmm. embrace those moments you got to endure and fight through because like you said that blessing is right there you just yeah. got to process go through it you know and get better when i look at stuff like that i mean it all boils down to the greatest gift, one of the greatest gifts that God gives us is mindset, your mind, right? So if your mind, you listen, here's the deal. You can't, you're not going, you can't be spiritual. You can't love God. You can't love your family. You can't even love yourself right. if your mind are wrong. Mm -hmm. Your mindset wrong and it's wrong. Yeah. You can't, you, you can't be none of those things, man. Right. It's right. until you really lock in mentally and figure out, okay, I'm going to take control of my thoughts. What I allow to come in and what I allow to go out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when everything in my life will start to really shift because I'm, I'm understanding the power of what my mind does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, like that's just so real. So yeah, the, to answer your question, is grass green on the other side of the fence? Yeah, it could be because it could be artificial turf. You ain't got to worry about water in that, right? Mm, that's true too. So all that does is it keeps prolonging what you inevitably, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Are going through or thinking about like I got to fix how I think. Mm. If I once I fix how I think, then now I can I can be able to receive something. So so often we hold so much in as men, right? Um, we hold in hurt, disappointment, anger, frustration, like all these different things. I'm harboring that. Mm -hmm. So 
I got to release that in order to receive the blessings right. that God may have for me. I can't receive them because I'm full. Mm. So until I let some of this craziness, some of this nonsense go, change my mindset in the way I think, the way I feel, the way I move, right? Now I can allow what God has for me to start to manifest itself mm -hmm. inside of me. Mm -hmm. But at first, I've got to change my way of thinking. Mm -hmm. I got to change my mindset, how I feel, how I'm moving, how I'm maneuvering. Mm -hmm. Like that is, that's key. Yeah, and stop blaming ourselves. I mean, we, we, we blame on everybody else, but you know what I mean? Like... It starts with us, like Michael Jackson. I mean, Mike, yeah, Michael Jackson said, man, start with a man in the mirror. A lot of times we blame it on everybody else, but if we put that blame on ourselves and take responsibility for it, everything, that's a game changer. What what got you to that point to be like, yo, you turn that corner? Was it an experience that you had? Was it something that moment you say, yo, enough is enough. I need to go ahead and change and, and boss up in a sense. Man, I'm still turning the corner, man. Mm -hmm. Like, keep it 100, man. I'm still turning the corner, bro. Like, you know, I, you human, you deal. I mean, every day God give you breath, I'm learning, right? I, you know, here's one thing I realized, though, fam, is sometimes we pray for God to remove that thorn from my side. Mm -hmm. The things that plague us, the things that we, you know, we keep going back to or we harbor on or it, it, it has a control over us. Well, right. the thing about God, he... For some of us, those that he really have a calling on their life, he'll never remove the thorn. Mm -hmm. Because if he did, you'll forget about him. Right. And he can't have you forget about him because you purpose. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So he's going to keep that thorn there. Because as long as that thorn there's a constant reminder that I got to go to him. Mm -hmm. You get where I'm going? Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's, that's real. That, that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get that clap in on everything. Yeah, that was I a mean, good one. Yeah, so like for me, I'm still turning that corner. It's a day-to-day -day process. You know, the, the whole deal is like, man, I really have to work on dying daily to everything that, you know, I deal with, my mindset, my approach to what yeah. I'm doing or what I got to do. Learn to start living in the moments, right? The moment that I'm in. Because so often I'm so busy thinking about what I got to do and what I ain't did mm -hmm. that I'm not living. Mm -hmm. I'm not living. I, 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 everything else is passing me by, so I'm not enjoying no moments. So and I'm not living. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's your mindset. Look, like, what's my approach to how I'm... How I choose to breathe today, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how do, how do I choose to wake up and breathe today? Am I gonna be like my, in the words of my brother Tommy Harris? Am I gonna be a shallow breather or am I gonna be a deep breather? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I'm a deep breather, I'm well thought, I'm focused, I'm calculated. You know what I'm saying? I'm in line, I'm together. But if I'm a shallow breather, I'm I'm I'm, I'm panicking, I'm constantly gasping for air, I'm confused, I'm discombobulated, I'm all over the place, right? So yeah, I do I choose to be a deep breather today is the is the question. Right. Right. right, right, right you know right, right. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's how we move it. So so much. So we getting so much. Did we even yeah. do a real introduction? <laughs> well, we did. everybody we just got into watching, it. Like, who is this guest <laughs> on our, our panel today? Yeah, so I I tell I tell everybody how I first met. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is Terrence Got Jackson for everybody who's Terrence doesn't know. Jackson, Armor Glory, uh, Brand. And we first got introduced at a men's conference. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Through a mutual friend, Keith Willis, who, you know what I mean, been my dog since high school. Shout out Big Keith. Yeah, Keith. we ain't like each other in high school. It was just a competitive thing. Yeah, he, you know, he, with yeah, you. yeah, yeah. You know, so years of history, but that's my guy invited me to a men's conference, then introduced me to you and ever since then man we've been in contact we've been trying to support each other you yes, know sir. and just became brothers and uh love what you're doing with your brand man and what it stands for you want to go ahead and you know shed some light on, on your yeah. brand i mean ag 365 uh formerly armor and glory we're a faith-based lifestyle apparel company man um you know um our logo we took the a from armor to g from glory formulated the shield of god um one thing about it, man, three things minister to a man's spirit, what he see, what he hear, and what he put on his body, bro. Mm. And so for us, you know, we want to be able to put the shield of God on as many people as the world has ever seen. So when you see this shield right here, you recognize and you know that this is, you know, God's beacon of strength and faithfulness. And we want that to be recognized all over the world, man. Mm. Um you know, Acts 19 talk about it. There's healing, there's power in the cloth, man. Right. And so I'm just here to just do my job, man. 
um, do my part, be light, right. you know, um, and, 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 and fellowship. One thing about it, whatever you do, make it your ministry, no matter if it's saving life on a table or a gurney or sca- scraping gum off the sidewalk, right. make that your ministry because in doing that, God can't help but to honor you because you honoring him. And that's what people got to, you know, understand, like whatever space you in and whatever place you in in your life, no matter what you're doing, understand that if you make it your ministry, you allow the power of God to intervene. Bro, things will change. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Things will things will be so different and you won't look at your job or whatever space you're in as a form of punishment or discontent. You know what I mean? Like submission. It, it, that, that's that's the whole point of what we, you know, going on today, talking about when, when we had the conversation, this whole social anorexia thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The the world and everything else will tell you you ain't successful. Mm-hmm. Tell you you ain't did nothing. But you know what? Hey, I may be sweeping floors, right? But I help bring ten people to Christ. Right. 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 I'm right. winning. Mm-hmm. I'm winning. Yeah. What you do. <laughs> right, huh? right, right. What you do. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Who, right. And who says what you doing is 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 the right. end all be all of great. Yeah. Cause a lot of guys out here that's considered famous and celebrities, and I think me and my partner were just talking about that, even around my area. We got a lot of guys who successfully uh, that's successful at in other people's eyes, in the world eyes. Yeah, what defines but they, success? But, but they're not, they not, they not doing Well, let me right tell you, way. when I first met you, since we're talking about successful people. <laughs> Daryl, we came to your house after training. I almost had to do an Ike Turner on her, bro. <laughs> and I walked Listen, to the door. I said, hold on, you, man. Hold on. <laughs> I'm in basketball, straight basketball game. I'm like, all right, he knows we hoop. All right, we good. We still going to be family. Keith going to be there, so I'm straight. Walked through the door, and Lamont Ruckers is sitting at the darn table. I said, you Come in looking all swollen and everything, what just like is on TV. <laughs> But her whole was throat so dropped. I said, hold I on, God. I was like, oh, hey. Oh, Jesus, man. This is not right. This is not right. <laughs> Ultimate setup. See, that's, oh, that, was, that was the humbling. See, that, that was my humbling spirit. Sit your tail down so you already married. Though, but, hey, hey, look. Speak, speaking Jesus. of, though, bro. <laughs> Look, I ain't talked to her for two days. Oh, hey, look, I, I ain't watch uh, Greenleaf for God. I ain't watching no more. Oh, I ain't watching no more. Uh, Forget Greenleaf. Right, yeah. Yeah, hey, but look, though, so you one of the few dudes that I know, everybody that around you that I've experienced. Right. Is either man of God or have some type of power and sense of they moving the right way. Right. It ain't no bum cats yeah. in, in your circle. You know what I mean? From right. from Tommy Harris to to Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. these brothers are strong, man. I look at Tommy, I'm like, yo, he different. He different, man. He he different. Like our conversations, me and Tommy's conversations is like, man, like 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 alien like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like from sure. out of this world. Um the 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 way we're able to help build and you know uplift each other you know I Bishop Jakes talked about being a a, a, a 10,000 gallon man like you know um, pouring into one ounce cups right. when you when you low who gonna fill you back up mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so I choose to you know move and be around other men that can help fill me back up right because that's what that's really all about you know you spend a lot of your time you know giving of yourself Who's going to help you? and Who's going to pour back into you? Who's going to give you what you need to get you back on your feet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got yeah, yeah. to be, you know, in a place and position where you right. surround yourself around, you know, authentic, transparent men of God. Right. And, you know, my brother Tommy, man, that's that's my guy, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's seen me at my weakest and most vulnerable state, and I've been able to see him at his. And, you know, ain't never no judgment there. Right, you no, know, right. we 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 here to help build and lift each other back up. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and you know that that that's that's super important. We we have a group of men. I, I mean, I've been fortunate to be in several pockets of you know groups that are positive men that help reinforce one another. And one Tommy and I are a part of is called the Tribe. Um, there's a um, assortment of us from all different walks of life, right? right? But we're in there and it's about positive 
you know, reinforcement, no judgment, man. Um, you really bring your 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 feelings and your thoughts to the altar, you know. Even though I haven't been as active um, as of late with mm-hmm. with with being in there, anytime I do step in, I, it's, I'm received. It's not like, oh right. man, where you been there? You didn't. Nah, they don't do that. When yeah, you yeah. come in, you come in. Right. We welcome you in. We love on you. We help fill you back up, get you prepared to go on about your day, the you, rest of your week. So yeah, yeah. that's important. Every every man needs a safe space mm-hmm. for sure. to be in. So you have to be very cognizant about who you allow to be in your space and your time. Time is the greatest commodity God give us. So whoever you give it to, they better damn well be worth it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right. We, we've been having that, that conversation <laughs> yeah. plenty of times where I'm yeah, like- No matter how much money you got. Mm-hmm. Daryl, you definitely got to surround yourself because he's, you know, like you said, he's he's always been great. He's been great. He's surrounded by greatness. Are, are people who- like to jump on his coattails. So instead of having them accountability partners where it's going to be like, yeah, yeah, that's good, but you need to switch this up. Or you got to do better. And I was like, yo, in this season, you got to be around people who are yeah. going to truly tell you truths, but also help you and lift you. And if you need to be checked, be checked. You don't need to be in a, around, you know, back then, you know, the old detail where he had a bunch of yes men. Everybody want to jump on his coattails. Everybody want to, right. oh, yeah, you want to, Oh, you want to jump off a bridge? Yeah, bro, go ahead, jump off the bridge. That's going to be the bomb. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. no, nah, we're going to have people who's yeah. going to be surrounded by you, especially in this season with the great things that he's doing. Sure. Like, you need the men and, you know, strong women who are going to be like, that's it. Mm, nah, nah, right. D, you need to go back. You need to go back to your prayer closet on that one. You know what I'm saying? That's Stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. we, we was talking yesterday, what was the day, day before yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And we were just, you know, talking about, you know, kind of game planning for today's show. And uh, just bouncing off ideas, man. And you, and you, we talked about the social anorexia, man. Yes, sir. Let's like say you, you yes, want to touch on that and go ahead and say yeah, where to it, man. What's God that all been, about? Yeah, God had been, you know, I had been praying and talking to God, and I started noticing certain things in my house, you know, with my kids. Mm. And uh, man, He dropped this in my spirit: social anorexia. Mm. Right. And 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 what that meant, what I gathered from that was I looked at my kids, yeah, the social media thing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, my daughter on her device, my son on his device, I'm on my device, my wife on her device. Right. But the thing between my kids is what really, really started to get me. I realized that my kids don't know each other. Okay. Mm. You got mm. and you in this day and time with this social media. You got siblings that don't really know each other living in the same house. Their only interaction is when there's friction, when they fight with one another, right? I don't see that that love and that, you know, mm-hmm. that I have with my siblings, yeah. right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when I noticed that the social media piece was taking more of their time where they were more friend friendly and would support and go to bat for their friend before they would do for their own sibling. Oh, I had a problem with that. Absolutely. Right. Like, wow. wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not going to love and respect and go to war with somebody outside this house before you go to war with somebody in this house. Right. You're not going to be fighting with your brother or your sister defending a friend right. over your own brother or your sister. Yeah. Absolutely. That's insane. Right, right, right. That's completely insane. Yeah. And and so I was like, okay. This is this is crazy to me, right? I was really tripping, but then I started to realize what Satan do, how good he is, how crafty it is. Yeah, he is he's, beast, he's the master of division. <laughs> yeah. Division is the greatest ally to 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 the devil, man, right. to Satan, right? right? His whole deal is to keep us divided. Right. So how do you destroy something truly, right? You destroy it from the inside out, not the outside in. Mm-hmm. So if you see somebody if they shoot bombs, right? If they was to shoot bombs from the outside of this house in here, yeah, it would cause damage, but it wouldn't completely destroy this house per se. Right. But if they set the bomb right here in the middle of this house, right. when it exploded, everything. it would implode everything. out. It's going to blow everything up. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, that's right. real. So that's what's happening right now in, in so many homes. He's, he's dividing the family, Right. Everybody's separate. So when you separate, I can pick you off one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no fight there because there ain't no unity in there. Right. You right. understand what I'm saying? Mm. I divide all y'all up and conquer y'all one at a time. Not getting out. Right. Ain't no family. Mm. So 
we living in a time where the son don't know the father, the father don't know the son. Mm -hmm. Same thing for the daughter and the mother, right? right? Also then the husband and the wife. You get where I'm going with Yeah, this? for sure, absolutely. It, it, and that's biblical. It said it will come a time where, you know what I'm saying? Son would be against father. Father would be against son. Right. We living in this right now, absolutely. right before our eyes and don't even realize it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's this right is here. treacherous. It is. So if I can kill the family, I, I, I right. kill everything. Ain't nothing sacred no more. Yeah. Right. You mm -hmm. feel me? Where is that unity of family, that bond? You got to right. think about this. We all out here chasing this rat race, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So you lucky, man, in 24 hours, if you get two yeah. to pour back into your family. But what happens, because we run so hard, when I do get that downtime, I'm like, I'm, I need that downtime. So- I'm like, hey, I don't care what you do as long as you ain't bothering <laughs> yeah, me. That's yeah. the mentality a lot right. of times. Let's just be true. Mm -hmm. right? So those two hours is then spent with the world pouring into your kid because they're going to get on them devices. Right, they're going to get right. on that place. They're going to get on all these things that's going to constantly keep feeding them. Mm -hmm. right? Feeding them everything that ain't yeah. a God. Warp, right. Warping their mind. Right. Yeah. Warping that mind, yeah, right? Yeah. right? So then I got to come back and try to compete with that, but I ain't made no real deposits. Right. right. So I, I can't win. Right. How, how can I expect to win? I ain't. Right. Right. I ain't That's did facts. nothing to win yet. Right. right. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the world and everybody else is raising our young folks. Yeah. You it's, know? And it's a, sc it's a scary time we're in for real, for real. Like when you really think about it, like... It is technology raising our kids. It ain't like back in the day. Like we can go outside right now and see how many kids is really outside it's playing. A ghost town. How many kids truly know how to utilize an imagination? You ain't got nothing. No. Get two sticks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make yeah. play drums. Climb a tree. You know what I mean? All this stuff that I feel like was heavy for the way we grew up is so different now. And it is scary because it's not only just your kid getting on a device, but now your kid being surrounded by kids who are a little beyond their own age because of what they've seen. And now Absolutely. they're verbally spilling yeah. stuff into your child. So like you said, if you don't take that time to truly, I mean, I, I don't know how many conversations we've had to have with CT just to continue to reinforce right, what's right. true, what's, what's fake, true. Yeah. what does God say, what does he not say, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like all that, because as soon as he gets home, it's like, oh yeah, I heard this. And <laughs> yeah. it's like, Right. And word right. of mouth is yeah. the biggest is the biggest form of advertisement, right? So Absolutely. if I'm not looking at a, a tablet, I'm gonna get it from somebody on this darn bus mm -hmm. or oh, yeah, at school. Because they, you know, they're being fed that. I mean, if you look at our kids, if if your son is ten years old or eleven, he really, if he's ten, he really twelve or thirteen, right? right. You know, at age because of everything that he has access to at the touch mm -hmm. of a finger, right? Right. So you dealing with kids that are older per se, mentally, and which they think they know everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. When real life and experience is the real teacher. You can Google whatever you want to. It's only until you walk through that, boy, that <laughs> right. right. you right. really right. understand what that is. Mm -hmm. right. Those experiences by right. life is right. going to really be the teacher. And so, it, man, the we, we, this, we're we living in the, the most selfish time in history, fam. Yeah. The social media, you can get, you can be and do who you want to be or do mm -hmm. at any right. given time. Yeah. And so, when when I look at, I look at, you know, what's going on right now. So, I use the example. You look at this NFL draft that's getting ready to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So you got a lot of these kids in college. You know, some of them, you know, they the real deal. But then you got some that are on that fence bordering. But because social media is what it is, right. they feed and they group their world that they done created. Everybody that's following them, telling them they the GOAT. Right. Or you right. Them, oh my or you God. this or you that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So in this kid's mind, he being fed all of this. So now he think, because I made two or three plays, I'm ready for the NFL. Right. right. Slim, no you not. Right. You don't even have enough film. How you going to declare <laughs> to go into the draft you yeah. got one year of tape, right. right? And you made some good plays, but you ain't you ain't ready. Yeah, you ain't all. developing. Let's enough. let's even mm -hmm. take that to the transfer floor portal. Like no, no, none of these kids, and we can even break it all the way down to the high school level or AAU and all that. Like the, yeah, the none of these kids know what it looks like to actually fight through adversity. No, because to, like you said, quit. stand the ground. They'll quit right. and go play Real for quit. some other team yeah, and get yeah, picked yeah. up. Or do this, that, and the right. Other. And no. then there's no accountability no because accountability. the families at this point are like, "Oh no, you are great, so we're going to move right. you." 
and they don't know what they're talking about. So we're gonna. Sure. Move. I'm a and freshman. I ain't getting time, so I'm out. Right. So See, you just a freshman. And, uh, look, you got you got <laughs> you got three All Americans in front of you. Right. Just wait your turn, man. They <laughs> out next year, man. Come on. And that's, th- and it's cr- and like you said, but then the communications that nobody likes to tell truth, and if you do tell truth, yeah. you you you're the worst coach. Oh, yeah. You're the worst parent. You know all, you these, all things, these things. Man. But it's like. No, the account, the accountability. We have right. got the whole because when all of us end up leaving this earth, Lord, we are gonna have the whole technology running everything, not the kids. But but the crazy part about it is too, we're talking about like it is a takeover, and it's only getting worse. They talking about the thing like the metaverse, and then sure. the VR joint. They doing it on purpose. They putting you in this thing, like in this world where reality don't even matter no more. Right, which is which is so crazy because as soon as you take that off, the real world is right back in your face. It's like, right. it's literally, it's literally like taking drugs. You right. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. you take you take whatever drug you taking because it helps you escape reality. Right. It, it makes you feel better for that moment. But right. soon as you come down off of that, you yeah. worse off than you were before you took it. Right. This is exactly what I'm talking about here. Mm-hmm. So when you have these young folks that when the real world really show up, because it's going to show up, mm-hmm. right? Fast. Slim. Now you got to deal with, oh, how do I work through this? Like, dang, I, I, I okay, I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. So either you finna sink or swim. When instead of for taking the you know the hard road sometime man or mm-hmm. being able to take some criticism and not fall into that trap of everybody telling you this that and the other look man that ain't real right. cuz soon as the real world come where are those same people going right. to be yeah. Hello. them yeah. same people that was telling you you him and you the goat and all that right. they now they saying wow that boy trash right, right. just that quick just that we quick. were just we were just telling CT so now that you got to yeah. look at the fact Look at the suicide rate based off of this social media I was just about to stuff. say that, yes. All of this stuff because crazy. they build you up to tear you down. Right, right. And, 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 and that's just kind of how it is. So where they loved you before and you the hottest thing going and now you can't get no likes, no views, and they got all this criticism to say right, about right, you. Right. I can't handle that. You know why? Because there was no real base or no substance in the beginning. Who was really showing you and telling you, hey, man, God is your source. No, who is right. physically right. telling you? That's that's the other well, part. That's we the thing. we all they are all looking like you said the likes and the the loves and the mm-hmm. shares and I'm basing my life off of what I'm seeing, <laughs> seeing yeah. and not right. physically what I'm sitting in, See, and it's crazy. It, it is real crazy. But once again, who's the epicenter of that? Us, right? Right. Us. Look, man, even if we tire and we we don't feel like it now as parents, if we have that responsibility because we have kids, man, that two hours that I may have in that 24. Now I got to reinforce yeah. 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 godly principle. What's yeah. real? Even if you don't like to hear it. I'm a farmer. Right. right. Let me plant these seeds in my son or my daughter. Mm-hmm. They Absolutely. may not like it. Right. But when it get tough, I deposited something in them. Yeah. They can reach back and gain and pull from that later. Right. Right. They may not want to now, but they can reach back. And, mm-hmm. and so it'll make sense when that time of, of, of disappointment comes. Man, my pops told me this. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah for yep, sure. Versus absolutely. me not depositing yeah. anything in them. So now yeah. they have nothing to pull from. So now he's in a dark place. Yeah. Because ain't nobody deposited nothing in them. No right. truth. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. That's the crazy part about it. Like, yeah, I, I'm I'm not here for I'm not here to be your friend, Some I'm I'm here to be your father and lead you, right. teach you, help develop you, help make you better, right? right? You make you're not gonna like everything I say with you. Am I I'm not, not I'm not gonna get everything right either. Right. Right. But right, right, right. I'm in here and we're gonna get through the, all of this together, yeah, right? Yeah. right? Like that positive reinforcement is everything. Yeah. You know that's what I'm saying? A, that's a good too, man. It's like self awareness though. A lot of people don't internalize that like how you figured it out you said man hold on my son on this my my daughter on this my my wife on this I'm on this and to have that moment because we had the same moments too and I think like yo I give all this energy to all these outside sources. Mm. But then when I get home, I'm dead tired and I'll be able to do that. That resonated, especially this year. Right. I don't have nothing to deposit into the people that I know got my back a thousand percent Mm. or I'm more angry with them. You know why? Because at the end of the day, they love me, and I, you know, I, I pour this anger out in here. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because I know they're gonna forgive me. Yeah. But the, it be that same nonsense where I'm in here fussing, 
I'm tripping with my family. Somebody ring the door. I answer the door. I'm nice. Right. Mm. Well, I give that person I don't know right. more respect than I give the people in my house. My right. wife get on me about that all the time. Right. That's real. What you doing, boy? Right. right. Like check yourself. Right. Mm. You feel me? Right. Right. That's you, you real. You pouring that? You 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 pouring all this nonsense in here because you know we love you. We are gonna forgive. You. Right. 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 You know what right. I'm saying? But am I right for that? Hell no, I ain't right. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm wrong. Yeah. Like it comes to a point where like, you literally we gotta check ourselves. At the door as the leaders of the household. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, honest to goodness, man. Like, you blessed. You got a you got a strong, God-fearing woman as a wife. I'm blessed. I have the same thing at home. You know, but a lot of times they get the brunt of all my anger and frustration. Our anger and frustration, they they the ones that got to sit there and catch that. You know, mm. you know why? Because here's the deal: we've been taught in condition. Can't really be like that out there in these streets. So you holding all that in. You got all that bottled in. You don't have no place else to dump it. So uh-huh. what happens? Trick of the enemy. You dump it on the people that love you the most, man. Because mm-hmm. out here, I ain't getting a second chance in these streets. Right. 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 You feel yeah. me? That's real. I do that. Either they going to kill me, lock me up, right. or blackball me. Right. One or the other. Right. One of those three. <laughs> So how do we how do we how do we change how that go mindset? I gotta prepare differently. I gotta think differently. I gotta move differently. I gotta surround myself around the right men, so that we have accountability and we kind of walk through this thing. We link and we walk through this thing. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's yeah. important, especially us as African American black men. Like we have to think and move differently. Right. And we cannot be ashamed. Right. To carry it differently. And understand what is really at stake. Right. Like it's 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 the truth. Our rules is different for us. Right. Talk Absolutely. about it, man. Talk Absolutely. about it. It's different for us. Talk about Absolutely. it, man. Like, folks don't get that. Like my preparation of my day is different. How I get up in my approach to this day, I, I don't have the freedoms and liberties to move like my white brethren. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, if I if I make a uh, uh, if I have a poor day and make a poor mistake, just one it could cost me my, my life, life and everything. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like that's a stress that unless you walk in the shoes of a of a person of color, you will never get and never understand. And sometimes we're naive to it. So I got to make sure that I'm in the right space mentally. That I have these talks with my son. Yeah. I, even with my daughter, like it's so much m- mentally that we got to prepare every single day and it can become overload. But the only thing, the only thing that will help get me through, get you through is I got to get those daily deposits from the father. Yeah. Yeah. I got to spend on. some time in my word because that little bit of word, if you take 10 gallons of water and you put one drop of dye in it, that dye is going to change the whole complexion of that water. Right. If I take Man, one, deep. if I take five to 10 minutes of reading something inspirational from God in my Bible or devotional, that one moment of 10 minutes can combat the rest of the world. So right. you got 1,440 minutes in a day. If I take five of that 1440, I got 1435 to do what I want. Right. But right. that five minutes can combat the other 1435. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> now you know when, when life seed. hit me yeah. and adversity come, I got something to pull from. Right. That little bit, I got mm-hmm. something to go and get and help me get through it, right? If I don't deposit none of that in me, I have nothing to pull from. So I'm I'm at the mercy. Right. But right, but right. look, but, but you know you, you are one, unfortunately, in our generation, one of very few who is getting that now, where you can change the trajectory of your family dynamic, of your young men, of your young women in your household. But there's still people our exact age that we pass on a daily yeah. that refuse to, like you said, get to that point of uncomfortability, to be, to be com- Get comfortable being uncomfortable and making a change. And then they're spewing what they know and what they've learned from a brokenness that came from them and their upbringing. And now I'm taking this mentality and I'm putting it down onto my next generation. And it's it's almost like 
as Christ followers, it's almost like as spiritual warriors, we're battling so many different entities, not only now technology. Now I got to battle my own man, my own brother, my own sister, because they're not there yet. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So it's like, where? how do we how do we figure this thing out? How do we change yeah, I'll so tell you, much I'll tell, more? I'll tell you what it is. It's, and we talked about it the other day. It's our our culture, our leaders, our celebrities, and not to put everything on them. Right. But it has to be a level of responsibility <laughs> and wanting to change our people. You can't, and I'll be honest, I love Kevin Gates. Mm. I love him. I think he got so much more to offer than what he's doing. Mm. If he's on the interview right now, mm. and I, I DM'd him yesterday. It was on my heart to DM Kevin Gates mm -hmm. and be like, bro, I love your interviews. When you're talking that talk about purpose and motivating people, but then when I'm that and drives me to go listen to your music. But when I listen to the it's music, I cut it right back off. It's a contradiction. I'm like, bro, I'm not getting that same substance as I am on the sell, interview. Bro. I was about to say, because everybody's it scared of the Everybody, sell. listen, man, we 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 literally are slaves to this world, man, in some instance, right? If you too real, you know they're gonna cut you off at some point. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The thing about it is. It goes back to what um, Denzel said. I, I never seen a U-Haul truck behind a hearse, right? We can't take none of this with us. Right. So now what do we become? If we men and women of God, we become uh, counterfeit Christians, man. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, counterfeit men and women of God, uh, Christian cowards, because we're not really willing to step up and speak on what's real. The only mm -hmm. thing, dog, that's real, that's going to last is what's done for Christ, right? right. I ain't sitting here telling you you got to be one of them holier than thou cats because I'm <laughs> right. not that. Absolutely. Right. Right. I'm saying? I right. ain't like that at all. Absolutely. But real is real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, we can't, we can't serve two masters. Mm. And that's one of the things where, you know, I fight daily with, you know, certain things that I know may not be right in the eyes of God. So I right. repent. I ask God, you know, work with me, Father right. Keith. You know, don't take your hand off of me. I'm 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 locking in. I'm, a, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm working toward being a better me. I'm working toward being a better servant. Right. I realize too, I can't work my way into heaven. Yeah. 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 You feel me? But it's too many of us that, you know, we straddle the fence. Mm -hmm. So yep. it, at some point we gotta choose. Like, are we gonna be are we going to help build God's kingdom or are we helping right. build the other guy's kingdom? Yeah. So, you know, we lukewarm in so many different areas, man. Yeah. Um, God truly understands and knows, you know, your real heart and your real spirit, man. Right, right. Um, but you, we can't just use that as a cliche. We really got to work toward being that. Yeah, yeah, You see what sure. I'm saying? A lot of us feel like we got to be perfect. Like my nah. brother is one. Like I... Telling my brother, we talk all the time. He'd be like, man, I ain't walking down the street with no suit and no Bible. That's his mindset. He thinks that you have to be perfect or have it all figured out or got to dress and look a certain way. Yeah, nah, man, you can come to right, God man. exactly man. how you are, man. The best scripture is a double-minded man is unstable in all oh, of his oh, ways. Absolutely. And like, you, you, you can't. I mean, even if you just think about just if you take it just simple, business-minded, health, yeah. you, what you eat, you can't be... Right. Eating uh, uh, grapes and fruits right now, and then <laughs> next minute eat a burger and be like, "Oh, why can't yeah. I lose weight?" Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like this unstable. Spiritual you gotta be, is, yeah, you gotta be locked in. Spiritual sweat mm -hmm. is 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 you know spiritual sweat, spiritual sweat equity. That, that those things are are a real deal. Look. Fact of reality is, man, we ain't going to never get it right. That's the one right. thing we got to understand and be okay with that. <laughs> yeah. Because if we did, we wouldn't need God. Right. Fact. That's why he knew he had to send his son back because if he didn't, we all going to bust hell wide open. That's mm -hmm. like a fact. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So we have to be kinder to ourselves. We have to understand that this is a journey, man. You ain't going to figure it out. Rome wasn't built in a day. But am I willing to keep making steps uh, a step at a time every day to get closer and closer to be better to deposit more into me that is of God right mm -hmm. that's the crazy part what we have to really know and understand is it's, it's a daily process how much time and how much effort am I really putting into the deposits of God into me the right. more I deposit more of him into me the more I'll be able to combat this world and the things of it Right. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And yeah. share and be able to share right. the people for the people behind you who need that. That's yeah. that's it. Like right. 
I'm gonna tell you what God gave me, right? So I was sitting there, and I, you know, you going through all this stuff, and I said, man, how many? I, let me see if I could pull this up, bro. Right. This, Cause I wrote this down. <laughs> I wrote this down because yeah. this was like it, it, it was real. It, it was about being able to put man, how many man hours, how many man hours had I put into everything that I do wrong? Like right. in my right. life. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it, it, out of seven days, if I took out of seven, if I took two hours a day, you understand what I'm saying? Right. And it was dedicated to something wrong mm. because th that's how it is mm -hmm. a lot of times. Mm -hmm. If you take that seven times, you know, um, mm -hmm. you two times seven, mm -hmm. what's that 14, mm -hmm. right? Yep, yep. And then you do that times 365 days. Mm -hmm. Right, right. What's that give you, man? Mm. Hold on. I, like that I'm about to say, I ain't about to do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I had so, you. Look, I had you at 14 and then you said 3, 6, so, said, so oh, three we, we do the math right here. Okay. <laughs> so that's 5,110 hours. Mm. In a so, year. In a year. Mm -hmm. So I put in 5,110 man hours in wrongness. Mm -hmm. Right. In terms of improving that wrongness. No. No, just being just wrong. Just being wrong. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Just right. being arguing, right, right, right. whether you're stepping out, whatever, whatever that looks like. Whatever you're doing. Yeah, right. And it could be more than that. Right. I'm just giving an example. So I didn't dedicate it 5,110 hours into mm. being a fool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right? Yeah. So I, I, yeah. I'm working on my PhD. Right, of okay. yeah, right. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? But right. I'm just saying, I, I, I'm studying, I'm putting all that negative, like, right. and being wrong. Right. If I took those same two hours right. and I applied that to my Lord and my Savior, God, mm -hmm. depositing goodness into me, I'm mm -hmm. like, man, where, where would I be? Right, right, right. Like, think about that. I'm putting man hours. These are literal man hours right. of stupidity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's heavy. But you know what's funny though? That's but heavy. that comes more easier. To act a fool comes more easier to us than it is to be intentional in Christ. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Because like, that's natural. Right. So that's why it's so like when you to to be able to outdo that, it comes a point of the mental mindset. And then you gotta be intentional. But you gotta be real with you. True. Like right. that, that that's transparency about me. Like, and that's what God was showing me. He's like, man, you can't expect to be here, right? Where you trying to go, where you want to go. I need to break this down to you to the granular detail. Look at the hours you spend. And then look at the hours you spend yearly in mm -hmm. building what that is you trying to get away from. Like, you building that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. think about that. Right. But if I took them same man hours or or more, and I worked toward being the things that God really called me here to be and do, like it's like going to school trying to get a master's or a PhD. Look at the man hours that you put into acquiring that, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Same We're putting these man hours in and being either more like trying to get on the right path to be a great disciple for the kingdom right. or hey man I'm putting these man hours in being a disciple of the other yeah. guy and delaying your blessing and delaying your blessing yeah, yeah, yeah. what, what you hoping and praying for yeah. could be on the other side of them hours so how I how that revelation started to come about was okay I you know they give you your screen time now you can see how many hours you spend on social media uh, right? like, <laughs> <like, laughs> and everything else you, I can look at how many hours I dedicated to everything that was not of of, of God. You start to mm -hmm. check that off, right? right? So like, okay, now, damn, this starting to really compute to me. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like this thing. Look, man. We born in this flesh. We are gonna die in this flesh. It's just, it's just what it is. And like you said, it's easy. Because that's what innately I am. Ain't nothing good in me, man. Yes. It ain't nothing but the grace of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like my initial, you know, who I am initially because of the flesh, we all have a little bit of narcissism in us. Because, look, for most folks, you always going to look out for you. Yeah. Right. At the end of the day, what's best for me? Yeah. What's mm -hmm. best? For, you ain't really thinking about what's best for 
the common good. Right. What's best for me? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's good. And that's that fleshly part to you. Yeah. But if you got some God in you and you ever done something good for somebody else and help somebody and you see like, dang, man, that felt good to mm-hmm. bless a, another soul, right? Right. Man, there's so much more in blessing people than it is receiving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I totally. Or taking. Mm-hmm. Totally. Right? Right. Totally. That's what it breaks down to. I mean, the, the, the goal right now, man, is honest to goodness, if you walk out your house and say, y'all take, you take your family out to eat, you walk into these restaurants or anywhere, you look, you see a family sitting at a table. Everybody. Everybody Everybody's doing like mm-hmm. this. And I'm a victim of it, right? Yeah. So why should I complain when things ain't right in my house? Right. Yeah. yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because we all divided. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We all divided. We all sit in ducks. Absolutely. Right? And so he picking us off one at a time. Absolutely. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So the the essence of family, hey man, look across the board, man. Look how many beautiful families aren't anymore. Yeah. And you look at when we came out of this pandemic, how many families were together and then how many families ain't together. I was just, that's exactly yeah, what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah. That this that yeah. pandemic was almost, it felt intentional. It was intentional in the sense to really self It forced everybody to self-reflect. And like you said, either you mentally were able to fight through that self-reflection to do better and be better, or there was a rack of families that was broken because... Of that self reflection, and it's, yeah. it's unfortunate. I mean, when you look at, I mean, you ain't have, you couldn't go nowhere. So, you know, the self indulgence in this or everything else, right? Um, wasn't no real outlet for you. So, if you didn't really have a relationship right. with your people, now it's awkward. Right. So you could hide it behind <laughs> yeah. everything else when you could move right. freely. When right. you gotta sit and look at I'm, each other. Hey, it's different. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? From your kids to your spouse to everything, like you, you the real you showed up, right? Yeah, yeah. you see what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But then also addictions really rose, right? And people were able to really closely pay attention to addictions too. Mm-hmm. So whether it's pornography, alcoholism, because alcoholism took out the roof, right? Yeah. Depression, like all these different things, really uh, started to truly manifest themselves. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in in a way where Man, if 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 God wasn't nowhere near in that house, yeah, you saw the rat. results of what what you saw. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a tough. I can only imagine, man. You had mm-hmm. somebody praying for you. I yeah. had somebody praying for me. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? Like this thing is real, man. Like when people really understand that your mindset and God are the two most powerful ingredients for you to be successful in this world. Yes. That's if it. you don't have those two things on point and on check, you are asking for exactly what you don't want, and that is a life of pure hell and torment, and man. disaster. Mm. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's that's so deep, important. Bro. That's just right on point, It's man. important. It's, it's necessary. I mean, it's the only—I mean— us going through what we've been through just over the past 12 years is like literally, boy, if we ain't have God, <laughs> I yeah, can only yeah. imagine where we, we could be. I mean, y'all you know ain't saying? alone, though. And that's the part of it. God, Satan wants everybody to feel like they're the only ones dealing with or going through certain things, you know, mm-hmm. certain turmoils. Like, man, you know, how you may feel, how I feel, whatever. Like, he wants you to feel alone. Right. Mm-hmm. Because that, you know, when he got you feeling like that, that's how he, right. <laughs> he come in Which and do what separation. he do. Yeah. He divided that separation, you first and now you sitting mm-hmm. with it and now yeah. you looking at it. But that, but that goes to what we was talking about last weekend, the power of communication. You have to like communicate. Like you got to, people got to talk. And it's crazy, especially now. And I was just, I think I told the Daryl about it and one of my coaches, like even at the child level, You'll be shocked what happens when you really start to talk to these kids and what they're going through yeah. and what they see, which we, you know, being strong, it's like, no, it's yeah. not, it's not that bad. It's not what you think it is. Yeah. But if you, if we don't start talking, we're going to keep losing people, bodies, kids, <sighs> and it's scary. You it's, know what it's tough. And I know too, because 
I've been communicating more with you. I'm like, I'm seeing the benefit. I'm like, dang, it ain't no argument. Things are smooth. I done, I done told her something. I'm like, dang, she ain't bugging. And normally, I wouldn't even say it. And I'll try to be like, nah, man, I ain't saying that. But I communicated it now. She's like, oh. forgiveness later. You do yeah, it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it so smooth. Like, you know, I'm like, no, man, no, communication. But to go back to what y'all said about these young folks and talking to them, and I say this all the time, in order to change the culture, it has to start with the seed. Yeah. Our babies are the seed. Yep. If you look at any and everything, whether what, no matter the agenda, mm. all right, no matter the agenda, they're going to target our young folks. Our young folks are in danger of any and everything. A lot of times that ain't of God. Because mm-hmm. if I can get it in their head, if I can change their way of thinking, mm-hmm. if I can desensitize the sin, mm-hmm. right, and make it where, hey... It's acceptable. Right. Now they they'll take and embody that mm-hmm. and then carry further, on, uh, carry on yeah. their agenda, right? Yeah. So we have to make sure that we we safeguard them, we protect them, we take care of them, and we show them that's the deposits I'm talking about, right? Right. right. If we ain't depositing that into these kids, the different things, even when we tired and we frustrated, man, slim, somebody else is. And whatever their agendas are. They're going to put it upon our kids and teach them that. And their kids is one day going to be grown just like we are right now. Yeah, yeah, kind of how it goes, man. Hey, hey, look, man. So I never asked anybody on none of our podcasts. I might have asked one person to leave us with a jewel, mm. something that you feel like the world should know or that will help somebody. If you could do that, what would that one thing be? I would be I would say learn learn to be kinder to yourself. Um everything is never as bad as it seems. Take time to slow down, just slow down just for a minute and breathe. When you can like I told you about my brother Tommy talking about being a deep breather. If I could slow down and take that deep breath, gather myself and 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 get focused again, right? Now I can start to make a better, well-deserved, calculated decision. Mm -hmm. Like, we run too much off of emotions and our feelings because that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm I'm, I'm running off of what my heart say or what my mind, it may not be settled. Like, I'm I'm off pure emotion. Slow down. Breathe. Right. Take your time. Be kinder to yourself. Focus and then move. Mm -hmm. If you do that, you'll be so much you know, better off and well served. And we won't run into situations where I'm mad and I'm upset because somebody did this or that. And now I'm off and I didn't shot somebody. Mm. You know what I'm yep, saying? Yep. I didn't move. To, I'm mad at my wife and ain't nothing going right in my house. And, and now I'm out and I'm dealing with, you know, some chick or she's dealing with some dude because, you know, uh, we, we running off our emotions. Right. 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 No, nah, like, yeah, breathe, man. Take your time. Breathe. Be kinder to you. Reset, man. Yeah. Reset. It's okay to reset, man. It's you okay to reset. reevaluate. Take it all in <laughs> yeah. and move forward. You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I mean, we do that, man. So many things, um, so many things will will have different outcomes. And a lot of times the outcomes will be better. Um, and it won't be um of of hurt turmoil or destruction it'll be more so of okay this this was better well served people are blessed um a good outcome you know can can come out of it man so yeah Brilliant. Yeah, appreciate you, dog. Hey, man. Always Terrence play, Jackson, man. man, on the set of the man. Real Love and Basketball. Hey, man, love you, bro. Hey, love you too. Keep fam. keep doing your thing, man. We definitely appreciate have you back. Hey, make sure that you guys uh share this live, man, for everybody on the replay, man. Uh, you in for a treat. All right. So y'all, um, we'll see y'all next week, man. Let's get to it. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not.
never under ya, never ever, forever on. Uh, check my repertoire, check my repertoire, don't check me not. Unless it's checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God. So next to God, next to next to God. Never not, never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on. Uh, check my repertoire, check my repertoire, don't check me not. Unless it's checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God. So next to God, next to next to God. Never fold, never ever fold, never ever stone a rolling stone till I'm in.